Hello and welcome to another review from Hammy Value Tech Review. Um, in this video, I'll be uh, I've I've already sorry I've already reviewed this uh, Tronic uh, battery charger, and in the video I sort of said that I would I would I would tear it down and see what's makes it makes it uh, work, or see what's inside it. And uh, so in this video, I'll be uh, I'll be taking apart this. Uh, Tronic uh, battery charger, just to show you the its, it's uh, build quality and construction. So I'm just going to have to move the camera here uh, for a bit for ease of use. So I'm just going to get straight into tearing it down. Uh, uh, there is four screws on the outside here. Uh, not the right screwdriver. So I need my other screwdriver. Totally unprepared. Uh, hold on a second. I'm back. Uh, this might not work neither though. This doesn't work. Ah, uh, I think we're short at night. So there's four screws here. Um, oh dear, they're torque screws. They're tri-wing. Tri-wing screws. I've never had to use a tri-wing, so out comes my little kit. Where I have tri-wing screws. Uh, again, I'm totally unprepared for this video. Why have I lost a bit there? That's not so good. So, uh, tri wing. We have tri wings here. Where do we have the smallest tri wing? Uh, is that going to fit? There's a tri wing. It might work. Uh, so, just bear with me. I'll try this. So called tri wing on a ratchet. I think we're in. Yep. Pity I don't have a screwdriver. Just bear with me a wee second. Still in focus, yeah. Just about. Now we'll try this try wing. <laughs> it seems to be loose. Yeah, it does seem to be coming apart. I do think I'm getting these these screws. I do think I'm getting out these screws. Yeah, definitely am. Hopefully there's no more screws. That one's completely out. Another one. Yeah. As they say in the EVO EV bog, I think we're in like Flynn. Not 
quite out yet. And I'm not just quite Some problems with these. Some serious problems with these. There's another one. So just two left. These top two. screws causing some issues I think we're definitely now, I can say we're in Lake Flynn. We're in Lake Flynn. So, it's just going to all just nicely clip off. It is. So what we have here is, uh, I think a lot of the circuitry is on the other side of the board. I don't know if I'll take that out and show you, uh, but we have a couple of uh, mobs. Uh, the lighting in here is not too good. Uh, we'll try and improve upon that. Um, we'll try and, and improve upon the lighting. Oops, just do that. So on the back we have some surface mount components. And uh, we'll just get into that. We have obviously the spring contacts. Um, so we have the uh, the battery spring contacts. Very nice, nicely done, nicely it's elastic, uh, it's elastic in place there. Uh, nice use of elastic. Uh, it's getting out of focus now. Right, we'll focus. Come on, focus. Seems to be about the best focus we have there now. Uh, so you can see what we have there. Just get some better lighting. So you can see very poor lighting. Just bear with me. Get some better lighting. So you can see the, cons the construction of this uh, uh, battery charger. Um, on the underside, I guess we have some sort of uh, we have a thermal fuse there. Or I'm not too sure. Somebody can tell me a bit more. I'm ju I'm I'm just at the beginner st the beginning stages of learning about electronics. 
Um, but we have some nice construction here. We can see on the underside we have uh, we have your your uh, all nice elastic. Your live and your mains in, your mains coming in, and uh, if that's whatever focus this camera, if your mains in there, what's this elastic? Uh, and then you have your transformer. You have a you have. Let me see what you have. You have some capacitors there, you have a fusible resistor, I think. You have two MOVs there, or Y-class capac capacitors. Y-class capacitors, and the caps are of, um, of a make, um, they just say ventilated on them. Um, they're just a no-name brand caps. Uh, oh, here's a, here's a brand on the caps here. Uh, Icon. Is that the Hitchcon or Icon? Hitchcon. Hitchcon caps. So that'd be your smoothing caps and your you probably have a bridge rectifier in there. And then you have a control chip. Um whole tech. Whole tech control chip. Uh, HT forty five R two G. You probably don't see that, but uh, this camera. I just haven't mastered this camera yet. You can sort of see the uh, instruction of it. Um, it's very nice, there's nice separation there between the mains input and the DC side of things. Would that be an optocoupler there? Optocoupler. Um, so yeah, nice and uh, nicely soldered, the soldering seems okay. Just okay. Not brilliant, what's that? So we have these spring contacts here. Yeah, I mean it's it's a very it's your there's nothing entirely wrong with it. There's this wee funny uh for all you aficionados out there, there's a funny little uh three pin package. Don't know, I'm not going to read off them numbers because they're far too small. But we have our uh, live coming in there. Yeah, that's a bridge rectifier there. Diodes. Four diodes. And we have, as I say, an input, input fuse there and a couple of other mysterious things. A bit crusty there, but with the soldering. With a zero ohm fuse, so I don't know. And there's, a, there's a few zero ohm fuses here. Um, so they're interesting. So there's quite a lot of fuses. So it must there must be wee packages in that that measures each, along with this whole tech chip. It uh, does the business, you know. I really, I, I'm, as I say, I'm still learning this. Uh, so uh, your guess is as good as mine when it comes to uh, the uh, manufacture of this. But it seems fairly well built. I like the fact that it had the tri wing screws. I, I either like them or don't like them. They're not they're a pain to get off. Uh, so the tri wing screws sort of that's the optocoupler as I've said before and some more discreet things and uh, not too much going on. There's the LEDs in below the bottom there. You can just about see them in poking in below there. Um, if I can shine this here, I'm not gonna just in there is your LEDs. I'm not gonna open up the board because it's a good good enough charger. 
So there you go, the construction is fairly decent. I like the Celastic, the use of Celastic for a lot of things. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to try and put this back together again. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was long drawn out. Uh, but uh, if you like, please comment. That's the uh, Tronic battery charger. Uh, uh, what's the model number? Model number is uh, that TLG 500B1. TLG 500B1. So yeah, yeah, I'm fairly happy with the construction of that. Yeah, there's nothing too horrible about it. Okay folks, thanks for watching. Over and out. Bye.